Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Janice. I do a lifestyle videos and vlogs. I live in Brooklyn, New York, and today is Vlogmas Day. Do, 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 do. What is the date? 13. Wow. Okay, we're getting very down to the wire. I feel like I say this in every video, but I really feel it coming today. I am going to be having a semi chill vibe today as you can see i have my christmas lights on in the back baby yoda's chilling i just got out of the shower i had a very long day at work this okay alexa the sun is setting that's why the lighting is kind of weird but i had no other time to film this today so i'm very sorry about that it's 4 15 and i thought i would have enough time to shower and film while the sun was still up but apparently winter is coming Anyway, for today's Vlogmas video, I'm going to be incorporating my school psychology friends. Hopefully this video reaches those who are interested in school psychology, those who are interested in interning with school psychology, or it can also apply to really any internship. I currently have my second interview for a separate school lined up on Tuesday. So I was like, hmm, how can I incorporate this into Vlogmas? Well, although finals are coming up this week, I had an interview scheduled and I did a lot of my finals work like prep. So I felt confident with scheduling the interview this week. I came up with my questions and I was like, hmm, how can I help my viewers who are going to be an intern, who are going into the psychology field, who are going into school psychology, how can I help them prepare for this time? Well. I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks on navigating that process. The first tip I want to give you guys is start early. Start looking for your schools early. I know that people don't start interviewing until usually January, February, March areas and then they start picking interns, but for me, I, I function well when things are done early. So I inquired to a bunch of schools that I was interested in. Some of them were like, oh, we'll be in contact soon. We'll schedule an interview. And some of them were like, let's do an interview now. How about next week? Some of them were like, oh, I'll talk to you in the new year. I wrote your information down and we'll get back to you. For those schools, you should definitely follow up with them when they said around the time that they said they would, just because COVID, we have COVID going on. There's so much going on that People lose track of emails, people lose track of people, right? So make sure you are doing your job, write down all of the schools that you've inquired to and what the status is. So I have a Google doc where I have a list of the schools that I inquired at and what the status is. Like, did they respond to me? Am I still waiting for a response? When am I supposed to respond back? X, Y, and Z. I mapped out everything. Stay on top of your stuff. Don't let time and disorganization keep you from getting that opportunity at that internship site. The next tip, dress as if you were going to the actual site. I've already had one interview and I dressed in a full outfit as if I was going to the school building. It helps with your mentality and it helps when you're speaking, when you feel professional, dress professionally. You have the qualities for this internship. That is the mindset that you should have and your outfit should match you because it just helps bring everything together. The second tip, prep your materials, I would say before inquiring at schools. Have your resume written out and updated. Have your cover letter written up and updated. And also have sample papers ready. For school psychology, I had to send out a sample paper of my writing um, for my psychoeducational reports to two schools. So they do ask for that. So have your best paper ready to be submitted. The next thing I have is research the placement. Don't just choose a site because it's close to you or convenient. You have to see the school website, what they believe in, what the school community is like, and see if that is something you want to be a part of. That's also how I come up with questions for the interviews. I usually research the website and the school community and I see, well, is this something I want to be a part of? If the answer is yes, then I inquire and I go from there. Review your strengths and weaknesses before the interview. Don't let them hit you with the, 
what is your weakness or what are your strengths <laughs> and then you're sitting there like uh like because that's happened to me not for the internship interviews but for interviews in the past when i was going for like when i was going for my job at the movie theater so just don't let them hit you with that question and you're not prepared review what you've been learning in your practicum and what you want to learn for your internship. So right now, before you take your internship, if you're in a school psychology program, usually you're working one day a week under the supervision of a school psychologist. That's what a practicum is. So review what's going on. What is the bulk of what you are learning? So that way, when they ask, well, what do you want to learn more of? What do you want to get out of in your internship? You'll know what to say. Show your social skills. What I mean by this is make strong eye contact. Even though you're online, try to address everyone in the meeting. Sometimes there, it won't be just a one-on-one -on -one interview. It may be a group interview, or it may be a situation where you're interviewing with the whole district. When you're interviewing with the whole district, there's more than one school psychologist in the district. So you're gonna have maybe five or six of them. Address all of them and make sure you're maintaining the eye contact and getting responses so that way you're engaging with the staff with the team and it shows that you're a team member as well i've already mentioned this in the preparation but make sure that you have your questions ready don't wait until you're experiencing the interview and you're asking follow-up questions because those don't count as questions at the end they give you an opportunity where they'd be like well do you have any questions for me and if you're like nah not not really like it shows that you may have not done your research and that is one thing that I don't want to look like because as school psychologists we also do a lot of research and I feel like you should have some questions about what your life is going to be like for the next year working at a full-time site. The last tip I have for you guys is send that follow-up email. Do not be afraid to thank them. Thank them for the opportunity let them know that you are available if they need any more information from you and it just reminds them like hey i'm here and i had a good time please get back to me soon type of email but it also shows professionalism because you are owning up to hey thank you for showing up to this meeting this morning with me thank you for giving me the opportunity and let me know if you need any more information i am readily available to you that's you want to show off professionalism, consistency, stability, and efficiency to your potential internship site. That's all my tips for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video reaches some school psychology slash psychology interns and I hope that you found this useful. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching for Vlogmas Day 13. Please like and subscribe. I will be posting new videos every single day up until December 25th. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye guys.